Who knows if this project will be successful? Only the shadow knows. Hey there, Mission Control. Well, in this video, we're gonna tackle one of the upgrades that you guys have actually requested, and that is lighting. Now, on this video, I'll be up front. I uh, was able to reach out to a company, actually, Parmida. I found some LED bulbs. That's uh, what everyone was recommending, is that we replace these fluorescents with LEDs. So I reached out to this company, Parmida, uh, sent them my information, and I said, hey, would you guys be willing to do a trade, some uh, lights for a video? They said yes. They sent me uh, 20, a package 20 of their LED uh, four foot bulbs, which are supposed to be uh, easily replaced. We're gonna see how easy it is to uh, replace fluorescence uh, with LED bulbs. And I also have uh, some shop lights that we're gonna be putting upstairs uh, with, uh, to actually replace the temporary light that we have up there and also be putting LEDs in on a fresh install. So let's get this thing cracked open. I'm very thankful for Permita for sending these to me. I'm excited to see how they work. You can buy these on Amazon. This fixture has been modified, use only. Okay, so this is what we put on fixtures. What we got here, Illumination meets Innovation, Parmita. Thanks for your order. Warranty card. All right, what do we got here? Ballast compatibility. Oh, so this is saying if you have one of these ballasts, you don't need to cut the wires. If you don't have one of those, then you need to retrofit. So they send you all the instructions that you need uh, to do this. For those that don't know, uh, some of the LEDs, I didn't know when I first started, but uh, these LED tubes, many of them require you to actually open up the uh, the light fixture and remove the ballast and then uh, connect everything in line uh, it saves a tremendous amount of power uh, so your your electric bill goes down it's another good reason to do this LEDs are just so much more efficient but some of the LEDs like this one are actually uh, drop-in replacements you can actually just take those out take the fluorescence out and put these in um, I need to see what brand I have and determine if I have that drop-in replacement capability or not. I'm gonna leave the power on when I do this, but I suggest you all take the power off. Oh wow, look at all that dust. Huh. Those have been there for a while. Careful, because who knows if this project will be successful. Only the shadow knows. I was hoping for an easy answer to that. Those are Phillips, Phillips bulbs, but I don't see an easy, easy button on identifying what particular ballast I have here. And I think I want to get a better ladder. My brother-in-law helped me put these all in. Actually, he didn't help. He did all the work. They've lasted a long time. Thanks. Thanks for that help, Scott. This is a Keystone Technologies LLC. Let's look at the list. All right. It is Keystone. Keystone is one of them, but we need to go find the model number. Is there an easy model number on there somewhere? I gotta get closer. KTEB. Yep, uh huh. 240. Oh, nope. Which means we get to go into retrofit mode. So, when we're talking about retrofitting, what we got to do is basically we're removing the ballast from the line. We're, we're getting rid of that wiring and we're just going to connect the line and neutral uh, together into the tubes. So that's fun. All right, up we go. Got the power turned off, but we will check it anyway, just to make sure. No power. Let's see if we can't get you guys a halfway decent shot here of what we gotta do. So, basically, this is gonna be our hot end, and this other end is gonna be completely disconnected. Now, you can take the entire ballast, which is this thing, out, but I'm gonna do, I'm going to choose to leave it in there. I'm going to take these ones out and we're just going to tape everything up so that if for some reason, I don't know what would be the reason why, uh, but if for some reason I want to go back uh, to having, or if I need that ballast, I, again, I don't know what the reason why would be. This is just me being me and saying, hey, let's not get rid of it unless we really have to. I don't, I don't like throwing good parts away, you know? Uh, even when we're doing a retrofit like this, they're still good, there's nothing wrong with it. So right now I'm just taping up these ends here. They're not gonna be live because they are now just completely disconnected. This, we will do a tuck. We don't need to tape these ends because this whole brick is gonna be 
uh, completely out of the circuit. It's not going to have any electricity to it at all. And now I'm going to do the same over here. Ground stays ground. The line, there's line. And neutral. And that's coming out of the circuit. So that's the main power going there. And then we're going to cut these guys here. Boom. And they, all of this wire here now, is no longer needed. Leave it there. I guess a good reason for me leaving this here is if these bulbs for some reason don't work, and I gotta get my light back. At least all I gotta do here is splice some wires back in, leaving enough space so I can. I gotta say thanks to my father and brother-in-law, whoa, who are both electricians. Uh, they taught me uh, how to do a lot of stuff. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm the best student on the planet and that I don't mess things up. And they'd probably squirm at some of the things I do because um, they're pros, but I'm really grateful. Uh, Mike and Scott, thank you for teaching me what I needed to know. Okay, so now, according to the schematic, one of these guys, and it doesn't matter which one, is gonna turn into a line and one of them is going to turn into a neutral. So now, because I'm me, I am going to choose some form of pattern. I'm going to go with the ones on the left are going to be my line. I'm going to get those stripped. I got a new stripper tool here. I think this one's starting to be a little mad at me. There we go. All right, so I said those are going to be line. I'm going to get those back up here. All right, so there's the line. And now we've got to do neutral. Electrical was one of those projects around the house that I refused to do. It was just mysterious enough to me that it was scary. But once I learned the basics, it's actually not horrible. But if you don't know what you're doing, I'll just take this opportunity to tell you, don't do what I'm doing if you have no idea. Go talk to an electrician, find someone, you know, a friend, a buddy, someone that knows an electrician and talk to them before you take something on like this. Don't just go watch YouTube and think you're, you're like fully qualified. If you've never done electrical at all, uh, you should talk to someone first. So before I put the cover back on, I am gonna do a test. It's gonna blow up, I want it to blow up now. Tubes are nice, they're glass. You can buy different variants of this, of these. I'll tell you which ones I got. I'll put it down in the description actually. Uh, so you can just click on it and find them. But I got the daylight, I think 5,000 Kelvin uh, temperature, which just means it's, it's going to be more natural light. Uh, so let's go turn on the switch, see what happens. Hopefully no sparks or boom or anything. Here we go. Get ready. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. All right, so check that out. Look at the difference. LED fluorescent. Those are so much brighter. All right, so that's what we got to do. We got to do that back there for the uh, uh, printer, one here, and two right behind you. As far as retrofitting goes, this was one of the easiest jobs I've ever had to do. So it's kind of hard for me to get you guys to see the light difference, but it is significant. Um, this is fluorescent. This is the LED. And uh, maybe you can see it on my face. The LEDs are so much brighter. Uh, I mean, a very much warmer, brighter light, whereas these are more brown. It's not just because they're dirty. I mean, it's just night and day. I'm gonna to try to get you a different angle. Maybe you can see it that way. There's just really no easy way for you to clearly see the difference. Uh, maybe you can see the shining off my head here. Uh, it is significantly brighter underneath the LEDs and just like I said, a much, much nicer light. Uh, so really happy with that. Still have this one to go here and change it out. 
So let's get that one done and then see how this whole thing changed. This one back here is flashing. It has something to do with the heaters on this. There's a flashing surge that's inside of the printer uh, and it's supposed to do that, but it's back feeding into the line and giving us a little twitch. Uh, do you guys know how to solve that problem? You know, everything's working on that circuit, but that light is getting a little bit of a ding, ding, ding. You know, and it might be the, no, because we just bypassed all that. I was going to say maybe it's the uh, ballast in there going bad, but we bypassed all that because we put LEDs in there as well. You've got to be able to see a shine off my head or something. I mean, just so much brighter. I should have used my light monitor and shown you. I kicked the breaker and I turned off the 3D printer, which was about two hours into a print. Oh, anyway, this looks great, guys. This looks really awesome. So we got to go upstairs still, but the Parmita LED technologies, man, that easy to install. The installation is really super simple, bypassing the uh, ballast. And uh, their instructions are clear, the packaging is good. The quality of the bulb itself, it feels really good. You know, the thing with fluorescence, every time I grab a fluorescent, you just feel like it's gonna go snap and just snap into, they're kind of weak, you know. Uh, certainly they're good enough. I mean, they've been around forever, but it has that light feeling to it. These, however, these are really nice glass. Got the LED strips inside. Oh, I should have monitored the power too. Well, we know it's way better, um, LEDs versus fluorescence. It is so much nicer in here now. Just that change alone is huge. Uh, I bought these. So these are just shop lights, plug-in, uh, which is what we designed the upstairs for. We have the virus going on, and now we have the biggest hail that I've ever seen here. Feels very plaguish. <laughs> I always get asked, what's that ping pong sound in the background? For those that are brand new, it's the fence charger. But can you hear that sound? That's all hail. All right, so I'm worried about this tube popping on me. Really worried. Hey, we fixed it. All right, all right, figured it out. Engineering rocks. All right, before anyone says anything, I know the lighting sucks up here, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fix that problem. We are gonna fix it. There's a few options I had here. Uh, I could have went long way like this and mounted it to the rafters, and there would be actually just perfect spacing to connect it. Uh, I've decided against that because it's just too much hanging out. I could have connected it to this section right here, which would give me a lot of light on the bench, almost too much light, but it really wouldn't light the back. So what I'm choosing to do, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right in here somewhere. Uh, no, probably right here actually. I like this, I like this spot in here. We'll use the chains to mount it. Let's not blow up. Oh, huh? How about that? Oh my goodness. Oh, we can get rid of that other one. Don't, uh, I still need that so I can see on the other side. Huh? That is nice. It's really bright too. Let's do a test. Lights off. Darkness was upon the earth. And then he said, let there be light. And there was light. And he saw the light. And the light was good. It was oh so good. There we go. All right. Hey, that is nice. You can see all the stuff we got up here already. Man, this is super nice. 
There's days that I impress myself. This is one of those days. I installed lights and they look really good. They look really good. Slightly different perspective here. Everything's well lit now. Is it you who's talking? Huh? That's Darla. That's Darla's mama, Daisy. Darla really likes being on camera, apparently. You like being on camera? Yeah. Well, that is a huge improvement. Upstairs is great. We got our temporary light back, so get that back on the work site. We've got all the lights in here are improved. Better light over the 3D printer. Better light out here. Better light everywhere. Just really great. I'm, uh, the instructions from uh, Parmida were, I think that's how you say it, Parmida, Parmida, Par, Armida, Par, Ar, Parmida. Uh, LED Technologies, um, very easy to follow. Uh, they have a warranty. You can go register your products. Uh, I'll leave the link for this product down below and uh, so you guys can follow that. But so far, these things are super great, super easy to put in. Uh, I've had three different ballast types here that I had to work with. And with the exception of that last one where we got a little sparkage, um, and that's because that was electronic ballast, I think, not a magnetic ballast. And they actually have that on here. Um, I would criticize that because they only have the retrofit ballast shown once, but really there are some slight variations that you have to do uh, based on your ballast type. The big thing is to make sure your circuit's correct. One side uh, has, um, you gotta have line and positive going through your lights. That was the problem with the uh, third ballast that we did is I wired them the same way I did these ones and we had a problem. But overall, the Parmita LED lights, uh, the bulbs, they go in really easy. They're very good construction. It feels good in the hand. Uh, they're not like fluorescence, you know. Anyone need some fluorescence? <laughs> Got a few of them. So uh, I am very grateful for them for sending this product. This was a project that was based on subscribers just like you following along saying you really need different lights. You need to improve your lights. So I do listen to you guys. It just takes time because I'm trying to find ways to get this stuff done and not spend money. Uh, and I, I'll be honest, uh, I'm very grateful that Parmita decided to partner with me and uh, sponsor this video and, and send us the lights and make this all happen. So thank you very much to that company, Parmita. Really, really thankful for that. Thank you for everyone following along. I think, you, you know, getting stuff and actually using it, that's important to me. Uh, I try to do that as much as I can. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. Uh, follow the link, check it out, see what they have to offer. Um, I'll follow up with this in the future. But so far, I, you know, I have no reason to expect, it's getting warm in here. Uh, I have no reason to expect that these won't perform well like they're supposed to. 20 years, man. I mean, these are supposed to last 20 years. I'll be old, old, I will probably, coming out here might have a rocking chair out here by that time anyway no offense to the old folks out there i really appreciate you guys hey i hope everyone's staying safe the world is a crazy place it seems like it gets crazier every day um i pray that the lord is with you and uh keeps keeps you all and uh send your prayers for for us as well to keep us safe and uh that's it for this video remember you can follow us on facebook twitter and uh on instagram and you can also if you'd like to support our efforts you can do so through patreon in the meantime, this is Real Martian, out. I'm gonna be a good boy. I'm gonna put the warning signs on.